Hey everybody, welcome to another Knife-Fi <clears throat> tutorial. My name is Adrian and today we're going to see how we can convert a CSV file, CSV to JSON. So, this is pretty easy. I've already done it. Um, let me just close this one here. So, the flow looks pretty much like this. It's a few steps, but what I'll do, I'll go with you guys and explain to you what is the what are the steps required to do this and it's a bit more than actually just click and drag this um, process group so let's go through the task so first we're going to create a generate flow file flow file where we're going to punch in some text which is comma separated with a header and this is our header this is our values and we're going to create an attribute that's called schema name and we're going to give it, give it a value of person uh, this schema name it has to be the same as this one. So if this one is going to be person uh, values, then the name it has to be values when we're going to create the Avro schema registry. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can convert CSV to JSON using convert record processor. This convert record processor converts between formats uh, or like schemas. Uh, for example, uh, conversion from CSV to JSON can be performed by configuring record convert with a CSV reader and a JSON record set writer. Uh, so for this step, we're going to see how we're going to set up a CSV reader that's going to be able to read this input and we're going to configure a, CS a JSON record set writer that's going to give us the final output. This is going to be the JSON format. So let's go ahead and see how we can achieve all of this. So first, drag a processor and uh, drag a generate flow file. This is going to generate us a record, a flow file pretty much. Open. And here, uh, what I want first, I don't want him to generate 1,000 million <laughs> Record, so we're gonna make it run every 60 seconds. First, let's go back to our notes, copy this and paste it. I'll put all of these steps into the description of the video and paste it. And let's create a new attribute schema underscore name. And let's go and copy the paste. Let's say person values, person values. All right, next thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna create convert we're gonna drag a convert record processors processor so this is our convert record we're gonna attach them on a success relationship and let's open and look at him this one we don't have to change anything here first we're gonna create we're gonna it, it will ask us for a rec record reader in this case we want him to we want him to read the CSV file so let's go ahead I already have a CSV to JSON, but that was for my own purpose. But for this demo, we, we, we're going to create one from scratch. So we're going to select create new service. From the drop down, we're going to create, we're going to select CSV reader. And let's give it a name and say uh, demo CSV reader. Cool. Let's go now. After, after we create the record writer, we're going to go back and configure the demo CSV reader. Now the record writer is going to be a JSON writer. So let's go and create a new JSON writer. So from the drop down, it's going to be JSON record set writer. And we're going to call it again, again demo. Great. Now they're all set. As you can see, it will, it will give a message. It's disabled. It's pretty much because he created them, but they're disabled. So how we can enable them and configure them. Here you see you get this uh, line here. Go to. This is going to dro drop us in the controller services. So you remember we've called them demo. So let's go ahead and configure the demo CSV reader. Here from this uh, wheel, we're just going to click on it. And first, we get the schema registry. You remember, um, this is something that we'll have to create as well. So we have to, outside the fact that we have to create a schema, uh, we have to create a CSV reader. And a JSON writer, we have to tell NiFi, okay, what schema do I use? What is the what is the what is the format of the data? How does how does the data look? And how do you want me to output it? So 
we're going to create a new service and we're going to call it demo Avro schema registry great so we've created it here what we want to what we want to do here we want to treat the first line of the header and we say um, we keep this as false actually no this should be true and now we're gonna go in configure the demo average scheme we can actually apply here and go back to the demo here because it's on the same page so let's go ahead and configure this first so what we want to do here we want to add the schema and you remember when we created the generate uh, the generate file profile we give the schema name as the person value so what you want to do you want to copy and paste this code here which pretty much will tell us okay uh, this is the Avro format so another thing that I will put in the description is how you can validate your Avro format schema so this is really interesting so because sometimes you have some empty space some bad lining and I'll give you guys an example and you'll see if the schema it's invalid uh, things won't work so what do you want to do you want to copy and paste go to JSON schema validator here to Avro GSP and convert and it says success and I'll give you an example how do we validate this let's say we have a space in the name of the value automatically this will be it will give you a failure it will give you illegal character in first name anyway so keep keep in mind sometimes you'll get errors so that's this is the valid format for the for the uh, CSV format we want to add so let's copy this actually first we give it a value person values okay gonna be lost <laughs> so person values and we're gonna give it we're gonna copy this and paste it all right cool apply what do you want to do next you want to go to demo over schema registry and you want to enable it so we're going to go ahead and enable it say enable all right we close this one and we want to go back to the csv reader first you want to disable it because we've enabled it before all right, so you want to go to CSV Reader and actually, okay, so this is already pointed to that particular schema. So let's apply and enable. Cool. So we see we don't get any error messages, any warning. Let's go back now to our JSON uh, record set writer. So here, what you want to do, you want to choose the schema uh, attribute and in the second option where the schema access strategy choose the schema name property. Great, and now at the schema registry and at the schema registry what you guys want to do is point to the new uh, schema registry we just created called demo average schema registry. Alright, so let's go ahead and say yes don't touch the other the other values before unless you want the date format or something like that that you want it to be changed so apply and let's enable this uh, controller it says whatever processor it's in is not in valid state okay so let's close it we can see here that he's actually making a reference on the processor that are on the canvas but not on the controllers uh, services because otherwise you will get an error here so let's close this one and actually is this it says it's a matter of relationship but that's no issue so what we want to do now let's copy this and paste and create the log attribute here so we can pipe all the values into it and one is going to go for success or for let's see for success and one is going to go for failure if anything fails he will cry and let's disable this so we won't get all this um, I don't like the yellow one so we started our flow and we generated one uh, CSV format list of values so if we look at it this is what we got alright great now after this values pass through a convert record they should come up as a JSON so let's go ahead and start it and uh, 
and voila everything worked as expected so we have a success here which is great so far so let's list the record and look at them there you go all right so in the next tutorial we're gonna see how we can integrate all of this without actually giving us the trouble to go through and set up uh, every time um, arrow schema registry what we want to do we want to have a, an area where we can actually have all these definitions and we can just actually call them and say for this particular file I want to apply this schema and you want to have them in a, in a place where they are stored and they're easy to, to, to capture and they're easy to develop it, it, and the, you can have versions of because right now we just use the local schema registry in the next chapter we're going to see how we can use the Horon schema registry so the boys from Horon work they went, well, they went through the trouble of building this for us and they released it to the community and I think, it's, I think it's a great tool and everybody should use it as their main local schema let's say repository alright if you guys enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up or if you didn't enjoy give me a thumbs down Drop your comments and if you have any requests on specific tutorials around NiFi or how we can integrate NiFi in big data ecosystem, feel free to drop me a message, feel free to uh, uh, drop me a comment. Alright, take care and I'll see you in the next tutorial.